Tech Network is a nonprofit organization which helps high school students gain the knowledge and skill they need to succeed in life, college, and the careers for the future. New Tech began in the mid-90s in Napa, California. By the community, Napa High School was considered an excellent school, and the schools were meeting the educational guidelines for the state. However, local business leaders thought there still could be more done for the students' learning. The local business leaders were concerned that the graduating students were not getting enough of the skills that were needed to meet the needs of the new economy. As Napa New Technology High School flourished, local business leaders and education advocates came together to ensure the school's long-term success and sustainability by establishing the New Tech Foundation. In 2001, New Tech was awarded a $6 million grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. New Tech School's philosophy is based on what research tells us about how students learn to create an exceptional learning and teaching environment. Based on research, New Tech created a way of learning from engaging high school experiences that feature project-based learning, the use of technology, and a positive and empowering school culture. New Tech High School students use technology to facilitate project-based learning. New Tech's mission is to inspire students to be responsible, resilient, and personally successful in the changing 21st century, and to be a student-centered model for educational innovation. Sophomore year, I switched over to New Tech, and with English, I mean, it wasn't, it was more of like down to earth and stuff you'll actually need to know in life. We've done multiple projects with actual businesses that are like actually go out and they do what they've told us that we do the same thing they do. So, I mean, uh, taking it from a business perspective, we've been told by their businesses that we're doing, doing it right. So, I trust them because they're making, they're making bank. Dr. Kathleen Nunley performed an experiment in the classroom about how students learn today and if our teachers are supplying the right knowledge they will need in the working economy. Are we doing a disservice to students by allowing them to work exclusively in their learning style? If the student is allowed to complete all assignments in their own learning style, it probably is denying them some growth. Mr. Keskus agrees with Dr. Nunley and tells his opinion on why students today need to challenge themselves in education. Nobody is naturally good at just one type of learning style. These are things that people develop over time. Since, since infancy, you're, you're constantly learning um, in different ways. So I think that sometimes we just have a modality because we've been exercising certain parts of our brain in certain ways. So I think that kids should have the opportunity to exercise all of the modalities or all the different learning styles because the reason that you guys get so good at public speaking is because you do it often but when all of you started you were nowhere near the public speakers that you are today and the reason that you're better at it is because you practiced it style benefits the students um, because it gives them an opportunity to like play on a uh, strength that they have. If you may have one student that's more creative, they can play on that strength. You may have another student who's better at research, they can play in on that strength. Um, so it gives kids an opportunity to really hone in, I think, on some of the individual strengths that they have. The curriculum is rigorous by challenging the students to their fullest potential. The students are encouraged to apply greater critical thinking skills and incorporate multiple core content areas of learning into their projects. New Tech's philosophy is based on the premise where students collaborate to develop respectful, trusting, and valued relationships with their peers. For, I'm going to start with like the, the, the people in New Tech. Um, like I, last year I came in about hating everyone because we, there's people in New tech now that I don't, I never knew I didn't want I didn't want to know I had already judged them back then of what their actions have been and I didn't even get to know them but now that I've been forced to work with about every single person you kind of like kind of get a bond with everyone and it's it's you you get you wouldn't believe how close we are but I'm I've always been a people person and now that I'm put into situations where I have to be a people person it's really kind of helped me grow on my skill sets in that area. And now that I have those skills, 
it just kind of it's making school easier and it's it's kind of making me motivated to do my schoolwork. In New Tech High, Relevant Learning is having real-world application that is meaningful to the global society and is purposeful to serving the community. Huge involved in the community. Uh, one of the things we've told our kids is that we've encouraged them not to get jobs. You know, I think giving back to the community, getting involved, working with individuals here that are in the community is a key piece um, to any type of a relationship, whether you're in school or not. Um, being involved and being in the know with your community um, is really where you need to be. And I think that's one of the things that New Tech really fosters, is to give the kids the confidence that they need in order to be successful of simply walking up to an adult and shaking a hand and introducing themselves. One of the things we also noticed was at a parent night that they had, um, students just automatically stood in the hallway and welcomed pa families as they came and parents as they came and thanked them for coming as they were leaving. If they weren't asked, there was no teacher that asked them, there were, you know, the principal did not ask them to do these. They just automatically, instinctively knew this is something that they should do and did it. And there, a couple of them were freshmen. So, you know, right quickly, right away, that's a skill that they've learned that they feel that that's important. So trust and respect for responsibility are sort of themes or, or core tenets or core values that everybody in New Tech um, subscribes to. And professionalism is sort of the, the practice of those core values along with the 21st century skills. I was forced into New Tech. I didn't, I didn't want to do it. But man, am I ever glad that I did because I, I, don't, I think the reason that I hated it was because I didn't really hate it. I was just not, I was, I'm not used to it. I'm not used to being put under all the pressure of doing it yourself. He wasn't sure at first course because we asked him to you know we told him that he had to go into new tech but now if you ask him if he wanted to switch back he would say absolutely not because he has more freedom to make decisions on his own it's him taking more personal responsibility for his actions where before it was kind of set up where the classroom teachers set the rules guidelines and expectations now in the more collaboration he's setting more he can take a project as far out as he wants to go because it is more I think of a life experience for them and more of a, a collaboration working amongst peers and I mean research shows that's the number one reason why individuals lose their job in the United States is because they can't get along with their peers so what a better way working in a whole collaborative environment such as new tech for individuals to learn to get along with each other. Having a conversation with Clay Parker, president of the Chemical Management Division of BOC Edwards, says that when hiring a new employee, he looks for someone who asks good questions. We can teach them the technical stuff, but we can't teach them how to ask good questions, how to think. I want people who can engage in good decisions, who can look me in the eye and have a give and take. All of our work is done in teams. You have to know how to work with others. But you also have to know how to engage customers. The key survival skills mentioned by Clay Parker provide a practice foundation for meaningful skills in the workplace for the future. The new tech philosophy of learning centers around valued relationships built upon respect and trust.